Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and spending part of your day with me. We are coming up on two years here on YouTube and I cannot believe how much this channel has grown during that time and I'm so excited to see how much more it can grow with your continued help and support. Today I have one of my favorite book subscriptions to share with you and that is Authentic Books. I love this subscription because it is so customizable. For one, you always get to choose between two highly anticipated novels. Often we get author's notes or even book plates that have the author's signature. I love that touch. And then you also have three different subscription tiers to choose from, one to fit every budget, but all of the boxes have items that are inspired by the book so it's really going to enrich your reading experience. This box and several others have really gotten me back into reading since I took a very long hiatus from it after grad school. So she does have three subscription tiers like I mentioned there is the mini box which is $39 plus $8.99 in shipping that includes of course the book as well as a customized bookmark with a quote from the book, a Spotify playlist which I think is always really awesome. There's usually a recipe involved that you can make to kind of go along with the experience and then there's also a nice self-care item then they have the full experience which is $49 plus shipping includes everything that's in the mini box plus an additional self-care item so you get two and then you get to choose between a premium tea or a cocktail mixer and of course I always choose the cocktail mixer surprise surprise and then finally there is the premium experience which is what I have to share with you today and that is $59 plus the shipping you get everything that is in the full box plus a third self-care item and a premium chocolate and so of course I suggest that if you are able to to go ahead and go for the premium box because the chocolate that she gets is always so amazing what's really nice though is no matter what subscription tier you choose there is the option for add-ons so if you do want on the mini box to maybe add a chocolate you can definitely do that so that is a nice uh, easy way to make sure you still get in on that chocolate goodness now this box was kindly sent to me for review if you are interested in subscribing and getting in on the next one in time to make your selections you can use the code noel10 and that will save you 10 percent i'll leave all of that information for you guys in the description box below and I totally forgot that all three of those subscription tiers includes a candle and you guys know how much I love a candle all right let's see what we've got in here it's been a little while since I made this selection so I'm not entirely sure but I believe this is the July box they do ship sort of towards the end of the month if not in the beginning of the following month so I'm just always so impressed that she basically is curating uh, like six different boxes right for every month because there's two different novels and then there's three different subscription tears so this is what it looks like the book is for your own good by Samantha Downing so very kind of mysterious there on the front and then this is what it looks like and it's really nice because now they are kind of color coding it to let you know what items are in each of the different subscription tiers so of course everybody gets the book so this is all going to be in all of the boxes all of the purple items and then in the full box you will also get the blue items and then in the premium experience you will also get the pink items here she does also donate 5% to a different organization. I think it changes up every quarter and I love that. And uh, this time it is 5% of your membership will be donated to the Adopt a Classroom Foundation supporting children's education and their educators. So love that, love a give back element to any subscription. I'm gonna prop this up in front of me so that I can tell you all about it as we go through. So here of course is our bookmark. So super simple on one side, it just says authentic books. We've got this nice silky tassel. I have all of my authentic books lined up on my bookshelf. Half of them I haven't gotten to reading yet, I admit it. Um, but they all have their silky tassel bookmarks kind of hanging out to one side over the binding. It says, someone has to save the kids. It's for their own goods. Hmm, interesting. And then, like, but it doesn't really sound like it's for their own good, does it, when it's like put that way? Then we have our Spotify playlist. There's just a nice QR code. And then, of course, oh, this is fun. So you can um, shop your box. So there, she does have information about all of the vendors that are featured in there and often some nice discount codes if you wanna go ahead and get more of their products. And then here is our book cocktail. Oh my gosh, you guys, this sounds so good. Lemongrass gin and tonic, or G&T. 
I usually replace the gin with vodka because I'm more of a vodka girl, but it just sounds so delicious and like looks so refreshing. And then our story eats, our recipe is inspired with salmon salad sandwiches, which actually also sounds very like refreshing and still summery. And it is still definitely summer weather where I am uh, filming right now, a little toasty right now. So I could definitely use a nice refreshing drink. All right, so let's take a look. It just says packed with love with some tissue paper. And of course I have to tear the tissue paper, which I never like to do. I wish they could come up with like stickers that like didn't tear the tissue paper so that I could take more photos of the beautiful presentation of so many of these boxes. All right, so here we go, you guys. And usually the book is like on the bottom, which makes sense in terms of like packing, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the, I believe this is the candle and they are making their candles for the most part in house, I think now. So it just comes in this little box, love it. So it's a hand poured candle. And of course I have to like, tear the seal which is a bummer but it just i love that it's all the packaging all the presentation she's done such an amazing job with this subscription throughout all of the craziness of last year so there's a little jar there's no lid on the jar this time which is interesting but she does this really cool <laughs> this is hilarious so it says smells like teen privilege <laughs> um all right so i smells like teen spirit are, are you of the age are you of the generation where you get the reference so it's actually juniper and cedar i guess that's what teenage privilege smells like it smells pretty good to me oh my gosh that does smell amazing and then look on the top you guys we have got some like green stones and some gold foil isn't that gorgeous it smells a little like spicier than you might expect for like juniper and cedar i thought it was going to smell like being out in a forest somewhere but it actually just kind of has like a has a little bit of a spicy like a little bit of a fall scent going on there so very very nice i'm into that let's go ahead and see what it says about it it says oh so this is associated with uh page 77 and the idea with all of the items in these boxes is that they're supposed to speak to the different senses so obviously your candle is going to speak to the sense of smell it says smells like teen privilege gives you the scent of juniper and cedar a dangerous combination when in the wrong hands look closely and you will see gold flakes all right Right, sounds good moving some of the black shred out of the way we do have an author's note from the maidens which is of course a different book that we actually got in the last box but maybe they just like tucked that in there because we didn't get it in the first one so i'm gonna put that off to the side that's kind of an interesting little thing i'm not sure hopefully it's not that i was supposed to get an author's note for this one Wow, this is stunning. Okay, so this is, I don't want to mess it up. It's Pottinger Soap Company. It says Secret Garden. It's got a wax seal and some twine on it. Isn't that really cool? And then it's got that beautiful rough edge. I love handmade soaps. They're so pretty. I mean, I can't take enough like showers to use up all of the soap that we get in different boxes, but I just, I'm sucker for packaging. You guys know that. It says made with certified organic olive oil, essential oil, and shea butter. And it's like pressed into the paper, like just even the even the paper on it is just really pretty oh my gosh that smells so good so this is also connected to page 77 so you get to light your candle and use your soap on page 77 this is considered touch number three so that's the third self-care item so it's the only it's only going to appear in the premium boxes it says this secret garden soap is made with olive oil coconut oil shea butter lavender oil rose petals and rosemary extract i think i'm smelling the rosemary, so, so nice. Bathe with this and you'll be transported to your own very secretly deadly garden. Wow, um, that sounds kind of scary and ominous, but hopefully that doesn't actually help. <laughs> I'm always like terrified of like taking showers like by, when I'm by myself at home. I know that sounds weird, nothing's gonna happen. I live in a gated uh, building, but I always get a little freaked out when I'm like at home and it's dark. All right, let's see. Okay, so here is our little bubble wrapped item, which is usually the cocktail mixer. So this is the taste item. Again, this just appears in full and premium boxes and you do get to decide if you want the tea or the cocktail mixer. Of course, you can always, if you fill in the FOMO, do the add-on and get the other item as well, which I know a lot of people like to do, especially if it looks like a good one. So this is from 
Portland syrups, which she has included many times before. It's a Rose City tonic, so it is a rose sort of uh, mixer, which I'm not usually a huge fan of rose, but I'm starting to like appreciate it more, and I definitely appreciate it in kind of a sophisticated cocktail. So this is what it looks like. It is how many ounces? It said it's 3.4 fluid ounces. My husband and I kind of like to play mixologist at home and do some things. Sometimes we don't exactly follow the um, recipe that has been included for us. Sometimes we just kind of go with what's on hand, but I feel like I can definitely manage this because all it is is two ounces of gin or vodka, uh, the rose tonic syrup, uh, four ounces of soda water, and then a lime wedge or slice. That I can probably uh, pull together. It says this authentically brewed whole ingredient tonic made with genuine Cinchona bark and chinchona bark and rose petals features a delicate floral later layer So probably not too floral which is like that's why I don't usually like rose flavored things Or the loose leaf tea was from novel teas Don Quixote organic black tea with cinnamon cardamom ginger root delight yourself into the classics No better letter literary reference than Don Quixote himself. So I'm definitely glad that I got the mixer I'm not usually into like spicier teas I know this sounds weird because I love chai but when it comes to like other like uh, black tea cinnamon spicy gingery things It's not usually my cup of tea <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got. We have got something from Cocoa Bath Company. It is green tea and cucumber bubbling bath milk. Now you guys know that I am not a bath girl. We do get a lot of like bath items in this box, which is no fault of theirs. I do wish that there was a shower only option, but I also realize that she's given us so many options and I always feel good about gifting these items to someone else. This is associated with page 60. It says pour a green tea and cucumber bubbling milk bath into your bath for relaxation, fluffy bubbles in a luxurious milk bath. This is a one to two time use product depending on how much water you use and how many bubbles you want. So that's kind of nice. So it's not just for one bath. You can use it a couple of times. Um, and this of course is touch number two. So it just appears in the full and the premium boxes. Uh, now speaking of premium boxes, here is what we're always looking forward to. This looks awesome. It's from Compartes, which is a chocolate tier that she uses a lot in this box. And I love everything. One, the packaging is always just so pretty, right? So pretty. So this is a salted pistachio chocolate bar. And my husband and I were just talking about it the other day because we got this amazing, what was it? I think it was a guava cheesecake and it had little pistachios on the top. And he was like, what are these? I was like, pistachio. And he's like, I love pistachios, but it's like we have them so rarely that he had like forgotten what they tasted like. Pistachio, he's gonna steal this chocolate bar from me. It's okay, I like to share. So it says, this is taste number two. So this is a salted pistachio dark chocolate bar blends roasted jumbo pistachios into our signature dark chocolate and is finished with a sprinkling of sea salt. I personally love one dark chocolate, but two, a little sea salt on chocolate are things that are sweet. I love how it brings out the flavor of things. So I am really, really excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so our touch number one, or the self-care item that is on all of the boxes, this time it's not a sheet mask, it's often a sheet mask. This time it is honey matcha. Wow, there's quite the uh, like color palette to this box. I'm now noticing it's lots of greens, very soothing, love it. So honey matcha, nice little tube of this. This is um, connected to page 87, it's by Avery Beauty. Intensive nourishing cream for noticeably smoother and luxurious hands, body, and feet. Now you'll be prepared for the next PTA meeting. Luckily, I don't have to do any of that because I don't have kids and I don't plan to have any and I don't have to deal with all of the like other moms that I would always feel inferior to. Um, I'm not sure if that's what the book is about, but I, <laughs> I just that seemed a little dark to have that as like a little, little note. So it says Shea Bye to dry skin. Cute, cute. So that's a nice inclusion to have in all of the boxes, a nice little like hand lotion. So then we finally get to our book, which is, of course is the most important part. And I also have to say I love that oh, my little match book, my little match box, she includes a match box um, to go along with the candle. It got a little squished, but I use these all the time, you guys, uh, because I often 
use the candles and the chocolate before I get around to the book. You guys know that. <laughs> All right, so this says for your own, wow, this is a hefty hardcover book. She always has this nice little authentic book seal, which I think is really awesome. If you don't like it, you can like pop it right off, but this is gonna look good on my shelf with all of my authentic books and my book ta book mark tassels. So, wow, this is, this is a hefty book. I'm gonna look inside and see what we've got. So we do, in fact, have the author's signature. I always forget to look inside, you guys, and show you. So nice little book plate with the author's signature. And we do, in fact, have an author's note. So they must have just included that one from the Maidens because it didn't make it into my last box. But love this. So it says... I'd like to start with the first line of For Your Own Good. Entitlement has a particular stench. It does, doesn't it? We all recognize entitlement, not because it's visible, but because it's something we can feel, hear, or even smell. The main character of the book, Teddy Crutcher, has been working around entitled students and parents for a long time. He recognizes it immediately, and he wants to do something about it. But his methods are a little unorthodox, to say the least. One of the things I wanted to explore in this book is how people lie to themselves. Teddy is only one of the delusional characters in this book, and is by far the most obvious, but we all lie to ourselves. It's just a matter of degree. There's a mighty thin line between self-delusion and self-awareness. Self-awareness, you guys, is so, so key. So let's read a little bit more about it. It says, a bold, sneaky thriller set at a prestigious private school, complete with interfering parents, overeager students, and one teacher who just wants to teach them all a lesson. Dun, dun, dun. Sounds really good to me. Teddy Crutcher has won Teacher of the Year at the prestigious Belmont Academy, home to the best and brightest. He says his wife couldn't be more proud, though no one has seen her in a while. Teddy really can't be bothered with a few mysterious deaths on campus that are looking more and more like murder, or the student digging a little too deep into Teddy's personal life. His main focus is pushing these kids to their full academic potential. All he wants is for his colleagues and the endlessly meddlesome parents to stay out of his way. If not, well, they'll get what they deserve. It's really too bad that sometimes excellence can come at such a high cost. So this sounds really good. Now, I admit I went to a private school that was kind of known as like one of the more prestigious ones in town, but it didn't have that sort of like really like dark, like long history and uh, did, didn't sound like this is something that would have happened at my high school. But let me know if you've read the book. No spoilers. This does seem like something I'm really going to enjoy. Little little murder mystery. And uh, if you went to private school or public school, just for funsies, why not? If you appreciated this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It does definitely help my channel out. Let me know what you thought about this great box. I think it was such a nice collection, nice variety of items once again. Again, she does such a fantastic, fantastic job with this box every single month. If you are looking for a book box, this is one that I highly, highly suggest. I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.